Alright guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to discuss another mini scheme from the Arizona Cardinals playbook. And uh, let's get right into the audibles here and talk about where our zone beater from this uh, playbook is, or our primary zone beater. And we're going to use the play uh, from the Gun Bunch. Uh, the Gun Bunch Week. Uh, you, there's two different plays I like here. Uh, you can use you can use the Mesh or you can use the Mesh Post. Uh, some people like Mesh uh, Post because they like the post route. Some people like Mesh because they like the corner route. I personally like Post. Uh, it's my 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 style. But you can utilize either one. They're the same concepts, same things, same rules will apply there. So now that we have our audible set, let's go into resume game here. And we're gonna just come out in the bunch to save time to conserve time, so I don't have to audible in and out of every. Play, play so we're just going to manually sub in our guys, but do know that in game you're going to be going to this from a uh, another set or another look. So uh, just know that, guys. Uh, I can get these set up and set the substitutions in. Uh, remember, we do rec I do recommend the uh, Green Bay Packers for this uh, scheme. Uh, I'm going to come out and mesh, uh, but just to show you guys how to how to, you can run both of them. But um, we're just going to come out in a cover four here to start out. And we'll show you the, the same concept is applied to all the coverages. We're just going to come out in cover four, audible to cover three, audible to cover two, what we want to show you. But um, the cool part about this is Jennings. As you see, if we go to, let me just show you man coverage first. Uh, you see how man coverage Jennings is a little bit inside. Uh, and if we put him on a streak here, you're going to see uh, he gets a little speed burst with a passage to the inside. It's going to be a quick, nice catch if, if, if you uh, time it right. So let me try it one more time here for you. So that's automatically off the start a nice little note about the gun bunch. See an automatic user catch right there. So I didn't click on or anything. So anywho, just wanted to note that. But the first two reads are the flats. Uh, you have two flat routes here. You have R1 and triangle. I would read R1 first and then I would go to triangle. So uh, here you have the flat. So you hit R1 quick and you get a quick four yards. I will take that personally. Some people don't like that. Uh, that's just their prerogative or their opinion. But uh, I personally like that. Uh, then you have your flat route over here, which you can snap throw to, and bam, you're you know another quick four to five yards. Now, once those if those two reads two reads break down, uh, then you're going to want to take a look at your mesh routes over the middle here. So, uh, you know you could put Greg Jennings on a streak. Uh, the only way, the only times I would put Greg Jennings on a streak is if they're pressed up on you. If they're not pressed up, if they're playing off coverage, you're probably in a zone. You're probably going to be able to hit the the drags over the middle. So, but the next the the there's two basically what this is this is cool this is this. Uh, what this play does is it has two reads per read, meaning uh, at the start of the play we read the, the two flats, so we read both sides. Uh, if the flats are open, we know we're throwing a triangle or R1. If they're not open, then we know that we're going to read our mesh over them, and also we know we're either throwing to X or square. And if all else fails, we're going to the corner route on the right side here, so we'll show you the corner route one more time. And you see the purple route from a cover four, uh, it will get sucked down and, and work similar to curl flats from that. So uh, now we're going to show you a quick uh, version of cover three here. And again, you can hit the flats quick. Uh, out of a zone, you can always almost hit the flats quick unless they're in a cover two. Uh, so that's kind of the nature of the beast of a zone. Uh, see here, see how it gets in the way of that. So uh, you just need to know that if there is an initial flat spinner, do not throw your flat route. So you know, but if it's a late flat spinner like we was on the right side of the field, then we could probably fit it in. Uh, but now know that your next two reads, you got those two mesh routes over the middle. That time they got bumped. I think they'll have to do something with some kind of press situation. So let's see if we can get them. Uh, nice and clean here. Yeah, there we go, coming through nice and clean. So, you know, you want to hit the the mesh right before they get to the flat routes, uh, and kind of you you want to read it. And the cool part about this is this is an actual uh, real life concept that Mike Leach runs out of. Uh, he used to be a, a Texas Tech head coach and had a little issue, I guess, with a, a player you know getting fired. But th he was always one of the best minds offensively uh, of this era. And you see this mesh play. Uh, it takes a second, you know, it takes a, a backseat to nobody in terms of its, its uh, versatility, ability to be made a lot better. So, uh, you know, the only issue with this, I will say, is you cannot motion anybody. So that's kind of an issue, but uh, that's why I don't run any of the quick audibles. So that's why this is, gonna, this is only going to be, this uh, formation here is only going to be a one video type deal. Um, but anyway, if you want to run that, that's your mesh. Uh, that's the reads for it. And uh, we'll show you real quick here, man coverage, just to show you. The reads don't change, but the cool part is this triangle route, if you wait, pass it to the inside and the course side. I didn't pass it to the inside there, so I got intercepted. Pass it outside for some reason. But let me go to man coverage here. And I'm going to pass it to this uh, route down into the inside, and if you click on, you can go underneath and catch it, and then the dude won't react. 
Uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, that's kind of the way mesh works this year. That's kind of the key to it is the running back route out of the backfield. That would have been pass interference in a real game. But since we're in practice mode, it doesn't. It won't tell you that. I don't know why. But you see how he kind of freaks out, and then you can kind of get that separation there. And you can also do that against zone, but it takes a little bit more of a, a weight. So let's just snap it. Pass it down to the inside against the zone. You would have to go really underneath it there, a hard cut. Uh, but that's the key to this play. Though that route really makes this play. It takes it from a, a good play, a good concept, to an elite concept because you have that route laid as well. So that's the key to mesh corner. The corner route. Let's go over mesh post real quick. Uh, the reads don't don't change. They stay the same. It's just a post route instead of a corner route now. So the that's the the key to it is you would pass lead that up. You would not pass lead the inside against zone, but uh, you want to pass lead that about 12 o'clock that post route. Uh, and all it's going to do is, I love it because it clears the space, meaning um, the drag routes will suck that middle linebacker down, uh, creating the void to throw that post route. See there, he plays it wetter, so or wetter or better. Uh, so you would obviously take your drags when you can get them, but I'm just throwing that route a couple times here just to show you. But um, the point is, is the drag routes, if they're open, you want to take them. But if they're not open, a lot of times that means that they will jump down. If they do jump down, you'll have a separation uh, scenario like that with Randall Cobb. And that's where this play really, and, and for my money, is one of the best, in terms of zone coverage, one of the best zone coverages in the game. Or uh, zone beaters, rather. Uh, you see he goes deep there. I could have hit my drags, but he won't, uh, I was just trying to show you the post route. So, But uh, just remember your reads. Remember your, your, you know, your, your quick timing. And you should be good. Uh, but that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, we can, let's just, you know, I mean, you could go over some hot routing and stuff, but that's really not because you can't motion anybody, so that's the only bummer out of it. Uh, but you have, you, you, you know, you have all your favorites here. If you wanted to, to audible, you have verticals, you have quick pass, but uh, none of those I really run, so I'm not going to go over them. Uh, if, uh, if you guys really want me to go over them, I will later uh, at a later time. But, you know, um, if you want to put uh, universal high routing from bunch, something that I do know, is uh, if you put Cobb here on a deep out route, so a smart route out route, it's basically curl flat, and then I could streak Nelson here, and then I have a zone flood on the on the right side of the field, and uh, a pretty effective uh, route combination in terms of where I can go. So, you know, that's something that you could always do, or you could, you know, if you had the corner route, you could just leave the corner route out there instead of putting you on a smart route out route. Uh, but the cool part is you're basically creating curl flats and you're also creating a zone flow at the same time because of where they're out on the field. So basically, essentially, you know, you're, you're still doing the concept that we, we know and love from bunch. It's just a different way and you have a drag underneath to kind of be a safety valve for you. And that drag is also going to beat man coverage. So that's pretty nice from this formation. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you guys. Uh, if it did help you guys, make sure you leave a like rating. If you didn't help you guys, make sure you comment as to what I can do better. Uh, as far as... Uh, some quick YouTube maintenance. Uh, if you guys are subscribers to the channel, go ahead and show your support below. And if you guys have not subscribed to the channel, you don't know who I am, you, you don't know what we're doing here, uh, make sure to check out the channel. Give it take like five minutes, go to the channel, check out some of the older videos, uh, check out you know some of the videos where I first started, and uh, you're gonna see that I've grown I've grown a lot in the YouTube world or whatever YouTube realm in terms in terms of putting out better content. Uh, but I've also increased my quality, and hopefully you guys appreciate that. And uh, hopefully you guys appreciate all the time and effort I put into these videos. Uh, so with that being said, guys, uh, this has been the Bunch Formation from the Arizona Cardinals Playbook, and we'll see you guys next time with the uh, Blitz Beating Formation from the Gun Flip Trips. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you guys uh, next time.